Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Brooke. I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. And today we are in Buffalo, New York. I am on reserve. I am not senior enough to hold a line, which if you don't know what that is, basically when you are a flight attendant, you are either on reserve or you're a line holder. When you're on reserve, you are on call and you have no idea where you're going until usually like the night before or sometimes even hours before. Line holders, you have a set schedule. You know exactly where you're going. You know everything about your layovers, your trips, what time you have to be at the airport, what time you're done for the entire month. It's just a lot more flexible when you're a line holder. I am not senior enough to hold a line yet. So last night I was on call. I was number three for a two day trip. And I saw this trip in open time. And I was like, cool, 20 hours in Buffalo. I've never been to Buffalo, New York before. And I specifically wanted this trip because I really wanted to go to Niagara Falls. So I am in Buffalo. It was a great flight over here, super easy. Only like an hour flight, very quick from Chicago. I'm Chicago based by the way, um, but yeah. It is currently 10.30 in the morning. I am gonna head over to Niagara Falls a little bit later today because I am tired. It's 9.30 Chicago time. I had to be at the airport at six. And for whatever reason, every time I have early check-ins, I never sleep well the night before, ever. I get so anxious that I'm gonna oversleep, that I'm gonna miss my alarm, that I'm gonna not show up for work on time. I just get so worked up that I cannot sleep. So I set my alarm for 4.45 and I did not go to bed till one in the morning. I've had three hours of sleep. So with that said, I'm gonna go back to bed. There's my hotel room bed. I'm gonna go pass out for a few more hours. Then I'm gonna take a bus. I found a shuttle service over to Niagara Falls at 2 p.m. I think I'm gonna have to Uber back because the earliest van back to downtown Buffalo from Niagara Falls is not till 11 p.m. I'm sorry, I'm not staying up that late. But I'm really excited. I've never been to Niagara Falls. I think it's gonna be a great layover. So let's go. My room has an Alexa. I'm sorry if that's gonna trigger anyone. But that's so cool. I've never stayed in a room that has one of those. Not much of a view. It would be better if I didn't have this giant wall, but my little hotel room view for the next 20 hours. I'm all ready to go. It is 39 degrees outside. Um, the bus leaves at 2 p.m. It's about a 20 minute walk there. It is currently 12.51. I wanna stop and get coffee and I wanna be able, I wanna get there early just in case, just so I can get to the bus on time. I don't wanna be left behind. Um, I'm really excited for this. I don't know how long I'm gonna go because it is cold on top of being right by the falls with the mist and the water and everything. I feel like I'm gonna be freezing. I don't have my winter gloves either. So I'm gonna be like this all day, but I'm super excited. This is like peak solo travel moment for me. I am bringing my tripod to take pictures and snacks and my phone charger and everything. So let's head out. Let's go. I didn't pack much food this trip, which is not like me. Usually I'm really good at meal prepping, but lately I've been so lazy. So I just stopped at a coffee shop and got some food. And then I am gonna start walking the 20 minutes over to the bus stop soon. I'm gonna sit here for just a second. I 
so windy. Holy crap. But it's so cool. It's too cold to do the Maid of the Mist boat that takes you under the falls and like down the water. I would literally be freezing cold, hypothermic. So I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit longer and then just Uber back to Buffalo because the next bus back to Buffalo is not till 11 p.m. I'm not staying here till 11 p.m. That's too long. But it is so beautiful here. Wow. I really wish I brought my passport because that's Canada right there. You can definitely tell how better the view is on the Canada side versus the New York side. But next time, next time. Do you guys see those stairs that are covered in so cold. <laughs> less windy it is over here not by the falls it's crazy but we're just walking around looking for more things to see to walk off of the goat island. I think I'm gonna walk down the little like downtown area and see if there's any cute stores. I actually need to get more hand lotion so I hope there's like a Walmart or a Target or anything just to get more hand cream. And then after that I think I'm gonna Uber back to Buffalo. I would definitely recommend coming here in the summer or if even if it's just a little bit warmer outside because there were so many like restaurants and snack shops and things to do around here, but they were all closed, probably because it's freezing outside. But I really wanna come back sometime in the summer or in the spring sometime and do the Cave of the Winds and the Made of the Mist boat, which takes you right at the bottom of the falls. It was not open. And even if it was open, I wouldn't want to do it anyways because I'd be freezing and soaking wet. But this was so much fun. I've been wanting to see Niagara Falls for years. This was definitely like a bucket list layover trip for me. So it was a good day. I loved it. I loved it so much. As you can probably tell, there's hardly anything down here. So I was gonna Uber back to Buffalo. It is $45 for an Uber, which is insane because my bus here was $7 on the Flix bus. So I'm gonna try to take another public transportation back. But like I said earlier, my, I'm so mad at myself. I forgot my wallet. Why did I do that? I don't know. So I'm really hoping they take tap on the bus. If not, I'm going to have to cough it up and pay $45 for an Uber. So let's pray. Let's hope. I am back in Buffalo. I'm so glad that I found another public transportation option to get back here because I was not paying that much for an Uber. So I'm really, really proud of myself for using public transportation. Every time I do that, I feel like such an adult. But now I'm walking back to my hotel. I'm feeling really sore from my workout yesterday. So I'm gonna go to the gym, walk on the treadmill for a little bit and then stretch and maybe do some yoga and eat some food. I did a full body lifting workout yesterday. 
and my legs are so sore from it. So I think I'm just gonna walk on the treadmill, maybe do some Pilates or something. Cause this gym is really, really nice. And I don't get hotel gyms like this a lot. I feel bad for just walking on the treadmill because I can do that on all the hotel gyms, but I'm so sore. <laughs> Good morning. I had an amazing time yesterday at Niagara Falls and now I have to head back to work. It is currently 5.22 a.m. Eastern time. I have to be downstairs in like 20 minutes so I'm doing my makeup really fast. Today I am working from Buffalo, New York back to Chicago and then I'm doing a really quick Vail, Colorado turn. So I have three legs, but it could be a longer day. Um, I think we're gonna be in the air for like seven and a half-ish hours. Um, but I only have like 55 minutes of connection time in Chicago to get to my flight to Vail. So if we have any delay at all here in Buffalo this morning, I'm not gonna make it. Like there's no way I'm gonna make it. So we will see. Maybe I won't do the veil turn. I might be, who knows? We will see what happens. I am working the lead flight attendant position this whole trip, which basically means I'm working in first class. I'm the one that does the announcements and um, deals with the pilots the most and things like that. This is one of my favorite positions to work. A lot of flight attendants don't like it because when you are the lead, you obviously have a lot more responsibility. Um, but I like flying lead. It's probably my second favorite position to work. My favorite is first class galley. I just like working first class more. There's less people up there. Um, you do have a little bit more to do because sometimes they have a full meal service up there, but I like the workflow. I like working up front. I'm gonna get home at like 5.50, six o'clock, I'm guessing is when I'll get home tonight. And then I'm going into having three days off. I loved Niagara Falls. I highly recommend this layover if you're a flight attendant or if you're not, just come and visit. It was a good time. But thanks for watching this vlog. I'm gonna close it out here. I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.